Good afternoon, friends. It's about 10 o'clock tonight. I just got back uh, from church. I had made a video uh, going down to Madison. And what I didn't mention in the video <coughs> was that I had Bill and Amanda following me to go down to church. And um, that's the couple that he moved up from Orlando with his daughter. And after talking to them further, what I discovered was that he had went through uh, a divorce and pretty much had to walk away from everything that they had. So he had lived in Georgia before and um, he said that out of all the states that he has lived in, Georgia seemed to be one of the nicest states that he's lived in. He's been California, Indiana, of course, Florida, Georgia, and um, so anyway, uh, the church, one of the members there had a little uh, table with four chairs, so I drove my truck down there to, um, to pick up that and bring it back to him and you know y'all saw the videos where I uh, you know gathered up some stuff and and gave it to them but my truck was running hot and I wound up having to put a water pump on it and he came over the first part of this week and spent about three hours and put that water pump on for me which that was really nice of him to do but <clears throat> what I'm making this video for is that the main thing they need right now is some food and uh, they've started they started a GoFundMe account and he ac accidentally deactivated it so he made another one I'm going to provide the link to that in this uh, description of this video and I tell you if, if, if you can man, if you can just you know donate a dollar I mean seriously I mean, they, they really need some food, you know, desperately. And um, it, it would be great if you could just take a minute. And uh, even if you donated a dollar fifty cent, it doesn't matter. Little, little gifts add up quickly. I mean, they really do. So... It, it it would be great if, if you could do that because I, I tell you they really enjoyed the church they are church goers and they were looking for a church around here he went to one he said it was all right but he really liked the church I took him to which of course is the church that uh, Jessica Ratliff attends and the church that I was uh, attending when I had Sundays off and had time to drive down there. It's a, it takes about 45 minutes to get to the church going, you know, through these little towns that we go through. But anyway, pray about it. And please, hopefully, the Lord will lay it on your heart to share a little bit so that they can have food you know I would hate to be in their situation what they're in right now with this uh, Taiwan flu 
I'll call it that, or the Hong Kong sneeze. You know, this thing, <laughs> this thing's about to get real, folks. It's about to get real. Real meaning people's going to be locked into their rooms, in their homes, for possibly weeks at a time. You know, that's the reason why all the toilet paper is flying off the shelves. People don't want to be stuck in their home without toilet paper. That's just the facts of life. And I'm telling you, this thing's about to get real, folks. You know, I got a friend who used to tell me says that the Antichrist system will never come to America. Well, I think my friend is looking, that, looking at that a little bit different now. Because let me tell you, there is no boundary to this flu. This flu don't care if you're an American, a Chinese, a Vietnamese it don't care it does not care <laughs> this flu is not a respecter of persons only thing I can tell you is you should look for every way possible to strengthen your immune system and be more careful now than you ever have before as far as germs. You know, I think we all know that Howie Mandel is a germaphobe or whatever they call it. <laughs> if Howie Mandel comes down with this Hong Kong sneeze, then we, we ain't got a chance. <laughs> Woo, mercy. But anyway, all jokes aside, let me end this video. Pray. Ask the Lord to touch your heart. And be kind to this family in need. I know there's so many people that are in need. You know, I know many give great donations to these big time ministries and you know as well as I all they're doing with it is paying for TV time living the high life off of your donations and here we have brothers a brother and a sister in great need I can assure you, whatever you normally would give to one of your favorite ministries, I would think could do without it one week or one month if you could help these folks out. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.